Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I've got Frogger for the Sega Genesis, which answers the age-old question, why did the frog cross the road? To play Sega Genesis, of course. Or Mega Drive, e either one works. And then drown in the river, because he can't swim. Frogger may be better known these days for his performance on Dancing with the Stars, but back in the day he was an arcade hero, like Pac-Man, Mario, or the transforming robot from Herzog's Y. Konami released Frogger to the arcades in 1981, and it took him nearly 20 years to make his way onto the Sega Genesis for this 1998 release. A really late release in the Genesis's Mega Drive's lifespan. 98. That's after Vector Man, but before Pure Solar. So there's really no doubt that the Genesis can capably handle Frogger, which it does with ease. In this relatively true to the arcade, release from Konami, Hasbro, and Majesco. Yeah, it's just Frogger, but it plays like a dream with the Genesis controller. Not a Dreamcast, though this predates the Sega Dreamcast by one year, and I find it fascinating that this is a 1998 release. Because it's right around the time, or just before, all of the arcade classics were being re-released in bizarre 3D incarnations. Like Frogger, Missile Command, Centipede, Asteroids. But fortunately, the Genesis version has not been tampered with. You do not want to piss off the Sega Genesis. No, my frog who failed his swimming lessons drowned in the water as I went for that far left frog docking station. As you might imagine, I absolutely love Frogger, so I'm very pleased to see this version on the Sega Genesis. Although, as you probably know, Frogger is available for just about everything ever made. Atari 2600, you know it. ColecoVision, you bet. Hyperscan, you're shit out of luck. Somebody should kick you for buying that thing in the first place, unless you bought it used for an ironic reason, in which case it's okay. Frogger! The packaging poses the question, why did the frog cross the road? Certainly not to be splattered by high-speed traffic. Raging rivers, hungry alligators, slithering snakes, and crazy crocodiles. What, what do they have against crocodiles? I mean, they're not being crazy, they're just being crocodiles. Haven't you ever seen crocodiles? They are crazy. Just like this game, when it picks up speed, remember, your frog can't swim. It's the realism. Gotta dig that music. This can be played one or two player. And it was sent to the show by our friend George from North Brunswick, New Jersey. Which always sounds better with delay. New Jersey! Dodging snakes in traffic is relatively easy. It's that far left one that gets me. Let me turn that off. Dodging snakes in traffic is easy compared to hitting that far left one at high speeds. Except for that one time I just got run over. There. Uh, ignore that. Now here's hoping that Frogger 2 eventually gets a Sega Genesis release. That game is highly underrated. Frogger 2 3 Deep, that is. Prepare yourself for the gruesome ending scene, and thanks again to George from New Jersey. Jersey.